Hi, I'm Ben with Clive Coffee, and today we're going to be showing you how to set up the ECM Special Edition Classica PID. Step 1. Inspect the box and machine for damage. If the box isn't damaged, support the machine from the group head and the middle of the rear panel and lift the machine out of the box. Make sure the machine is on a stable, level surface. Remove the bag from the machine. Inspect the machine for any damage. If you see any damage, please contact us immediately. Step 2. Water quality and filling the water tank. Make sure to only use filtered and softened water with your espresso machine. Before filling, test the water hardness using the test strip included with the machine. Ideal water hardness is below 50 particles per million, or ppm. For more info on water quality, check out our guide at clivecoffee.com water. Once your water quality has been verified, fill the water tank at the back of the machine. Step 3. Starting up your machine and filling the boiler. Plug your machine in and turn on the power switch. To fill the boiler, first place a small container under the steam wand. Lock the joystick down to open the steam wand and activate the pump with the water switch labeled P. When water starts to flow out of the wand, the boiler has filled. Then flip the P switch off and bring the joystick back to its closed center position. This should take less than one minute. Give the pump a few minutes to rest. Before pulling your first shots, we recommend flushing 20 ounces of water through the steam wand to rinse the boiler. To do this, lock the joystick down and activate the P-switch. Last, run a small amount of water through your group head. Raise the lever until you see a steady stream of water coming through your portafilter. Wait for the machine to come to 200 degrees. You've used a lot of water, so now is a good time to refill your water reservoir. Step 4. Pulling your first shots. A tamping mat is your friend. Take out the portafilter. Grind a full dose of 18 grams of coffee directly into your portafilter. Your goal is not to use a ton of force to jam the coffee into the basket. Your goal is to create a level, even bed of compressed coffee. Settle the grounds by giving the sides of the portafilter a few light taps with your hand, then two firm downward taps against your counter. Start with a level tamp. Apply enough pressure that you'll feel the coffee push back against you, around 30 pounds of pressure. Insert the portafilter into the group head and lift the brew lever to start the shot. We'll be looking to produce around one and a half ounces of espresso in 25 to 30 seconds. If you get one and a half ounces of espresso in less than 25 seconds, adjust your grind finer. If it takes longer than 30 seconds, adjust your grind coarser. Remember to keep the amount of ground coffee, tamping pressure, and liquid espresso the same. Focus on only adjusting the grind. This will help you from having to chase too many variables. Step 5. Steaming milk. The Classica has a single boiler. To steam milk, you'll have to switch the machine to steam mode. Flip the steam switch. You'll have to purge some of the water from the boiler to make room for steam. Press the joystick down to purge the wand for 5 seconds. Then turn it off and wait 20 seconds. Purge the wand for 5 seconds. Then turn it off and wait 20 seconds. Purge the steam wand for five seconds one last time. By now, you should be seeing plenty of steam coming out of the steam wand. Speed up your process by portioning your milk while you wait for your machine to come to temperature. Insert the steam tip into your milk pitcher and open the steam wand using the joystick. For tips on improving your milk steaming, check out our milk steaming tutorial here. Once your milk reaches the ideal temperature, bring the joystick back to the off position and turn off the steam switch. To prep the machine for your next espresso, Lift the brew lever until a steady flow of water comes through the screen. This should take around 20 to 30 seconds. Once the PID displays your 200 degree brewing temperature, you'll be ready to pull another espresso.